Hey, 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 it's Mel here. So today we have had the most beautiful couple who came in this morning and they were looking at the Pride collection of laces. I loved the way that one of the couple was talking about the MLM laces as MLM. I love it because they were saying, we've got the MLM laces and their partner said, why do you call it MLM? Why isn't it MLM? And they said, because I don't want to get anyone to be confused that these might be associated with multi-level marketing companies. Uh, so they're MLM. And there, if you know, you know, you know what we're talking about. And if you don't know, you'll probably just think it's a weird noise and move right along. So either way, it was pretty cool. And I really enjoyed that. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, and then we had this afternoon, the most beautiful person in for a skate fitting. And they were really concerned that they um, might not find skates, like cute skates in their size, which is like, it's a common concern for lots of different people. But you know, whatever size feet you have, you are really like, we have a lot of people who are really concerned about it. And they will tell us, my feet are too wide. My feet have this issue. My feet are like this. I'm really sorry for the state of my feet. Like people, please stop apologizing for your feet because your feet are perfect just the way they are. They just, you just haven't found the right skates or you haven't found the right shoes or whatever it is. Like your feet are not the problem. It's the stuff that we're trying to fit the shoes on. So please put that down anyway. Uh, she went away with a gorgeous pair of Moxie Lolly skates and I was like, wow. I mean, you came in looking all the way like down the line um, at all the different ones and was kind of looking up and I said, you know, where are you drawn to? And we had a whole conversation around what she enjoyed and she was like, I really want something like cute and it's like a bright colour, something that I'm going to want to put on. I was like, always with skates you should always want to put them on and in the end she was like can I try the moxie lolly skates on have you got my size I was like yeah we absolutely have your size even better right now they're in the sale um so yeah she tried them on and I said my only hesitation with trying them on is if you try them on it's quite likely you will love them and I worry that it's going to ruin anything else you put on because until then she was like the beach bunny is like my hot favorite. Anyway, she put them on and just went, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, they're so comfortable. And I was like, yeah, totally. They really are comfortable. And for all those people out there who are saying the Moxie Lolly is like a sock on wheels or whatever, you want to say about that boot that you is a, a, like a little bit derogatory please i respect you but you do not need to try and convince anybody else that it is a sock on wheels because we know it's very light support or you may consider it to be non-existent support but that depends on your background your skate background we know that a lot of skaters who have come from ice or have skated on ice as a child or have worn ice skate boots before and done it to any kind of degree that was regular that you have some skill and you've had some experience and practice actually really don't like that boot i'm pointing that way because that's where it is come to me moxie lolly they don't like this boot and the reason they don't like this boot is because there is no ankle support in the way that a ice boot provides. That's not its purpose. That is not why it was designed. It was not designed to land big jumps. It was designed to roll like 
places quickly, hence the large soft wheels outdoors, like it's designed as transport in California. So I think it does that job really, really well, but let's not pretend that it's, it's here to do anything else. And I don't think it is trying to pretend that either. Anyway, um, if you come from a roller derby background and you're used to a low cut boot that's had no ankle support at all, points to self, then actually this boot feels like it does offer enough support. Maybe you've got strong ankles anyway. So it depends what you're doing. Just if you don't want to wear this, that's fine. Move along, find another boot that is right for you, but you don't need to like trash other boots in my opinion. Even if there are other brands that you may not agree with, and there are plenty of brands and manufacturers and roller skates out there that are trash because they are not made as a sporting equipment. They are basically a toy. The plate, this one is a nylon plate, so it offers some strength. It's very light, it's perfectly fine, okay? There are some plates that are look like this, but they are plastic and they will flex like no tomorrow and snap. They are not well made, they are not well tested and they were not really designed for a lot of roller skating in. So they will break easily. Unfortunately, it's really hard to identify those skates. It's really hard. So what do people do? They don't know anything about skates. They buy off the internet because that's what you do. You just buy your regular shoe size. It shows up at your door, you put it on and you think, wow, I mean, it's a bit uncomfortable. It's a bit stiff. Maybe this is what roller skates should feel like because how are you supposed to know? And then you go on the internet, you do a bit more searching about your brand and you discover something that is pretty unsettling that you've bought something which is actually a bit of a rubbish trash brand. Like we no one, we don't need to shame anybody else just because they've brought, bought a brand and they know nothing about roller skating. Like we all had to start somewhere and we all asked for advice at that point. Right now, roller skating has hit a critical point where there's so much information out there, it's actually really confusing. People, for some reason, don't always come and approach skate shops or they will look at the prices and rule us out before they've even started because people are shopping on price. They don't understand the quality massively matters and makes a difference with the experience. So it's fine. I want people to just get started. They just get started on their roller skate journey and then when they are ready to trade up when they are invested in this, when they are converted and they identify as a roller skater, however long that takes, come and chat to us. Come, if it's not us, go and chat to your local skate shop. Go talk to people who will support you and make sure that you get the kit that you need to achieve the goals you've set for yourself. And that's all. Like skaters, we just want other skaters to succeed, but we know you might be limiting yourself with certain types of kit, okay? There are other things that will absolutely not limit you, okay? You, like for example, you cannot buy magic wheels. There are no wheels that will make roller skating easier at the beginning. If you are buying a complete roller skate, out of the box, it should be a complete roller skate where you can just go pretty much anywhere intended for roller skating and do your thing and have an appropriately nice time. Okay, if you are going to try and skate on sand, it's not recommended. Anyway, so I hope this was helpful in some way. I hope you enjoyed hearing my stories about my lovely customers. Anyway, what was I going to say? Okay, so my lady who tried on the lolly skate and the beach bunny 
she chose the lolly. It was just too beautiful. And the way her eyes were like, ah, she was so excited to wear those boots and just go and spread joy. You can spread joy in roller skates without even like, well, I can't think of the words. Someone help me with the words. You can totally spread joy in roller skates without even necessarily having to wear them. You can just be carrying them around and people will see you and be excited to stop you and have a chat with you. I mean, I'm gonna say this because every single day people walk past our shop and they're like, ooh, roller skates! Or even better, ooh, roller blades! Okay, let it go, let it go. Um, yeah, anyway. I'm very excited for her that she is gonna, she's invested well in her first boot that is like a non-roller derby boot and those skates should have lasted her for years to come and I'm super excited for her. She gets to enjoy them. Okay, tell me if you enjoyed learning about the customers who come into the shop, if you wanna hear more of our shop stories, um, obviously it's a delicate balance. I'm not here to gossip about people and I think it's really important to protect people's privacy so I'm never going to name them but I also just want to let people know about the wonderful energy that our customers have when they come into the shop. It's a very magical thing and yeah, my word of the year is amplify. So I wanted to spread that message a little bit more. All right. My name's Mel and I will see you on the next one.